Good afternoon folks. Welcome back. This uh, piece of wood that I've got right here uh, was part of a, a fishing um, piece of fishing de decor, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, there's the whole, I had a, a trout sitting in this across like so. And uh, anyway, long story short, I uh, just this past weekend I had a uh, fly rod lamp that I had made from a, a wicker trout creel and a, an old fly rod and reel and I decorated the lampshade with some fishing flies and decided to put it up for sale and to my surprise uh, it was gone the next day so what we're gonna do with this I'm gonna make another fly rod lamp uh, only I'm going to use this as the base, put the trout back on it when I'm done, but this area right here, I'm going to grind it down flat, where it's level and flat like so, and uh, from there, I'll drill it for the uh, all thread, and then uh, I'm going to use it as a base for another fly rod, and build another lamp from it to replace the one that I just sold kind of a bittersweet deal. I really didn't want to sell it, but yeah, it's kind of one of those things. If I don't get myself out there and uh, start selling this, I'm going to have a huge junk collection. Not that it's junk, but you know what I mean. I don't want to have my house ending up like a bunch of hoarders live in it. So that's what the game plan is. I'm going to grind that off and uh, start making a new lamp. So uh, I'm going to get to work on this and uh, when I get some more progress made I will bring you back and uh, as I get further along I'll uh, go ahead and bring the GoPro out and uh, do an actual video on the process as we're going along instead of starting and stopping and stuff just my way to try to uh, improve my uh, video content because I definitely want to grow this page and uh, possibly put some more things out there that uh, y'all might like and enjoy. Anyhow, I'm going to br uh, bring this segment to a close and get started and bring you back when I get some more progress made. So I will see you shortly. Good morning, folks. Welcome back. Today's little adventure, and it is an adventure, just stepping out there uh, in the unknown, I've got an antique bamboo fly rod. And what I'm about to do is uh, punch the center of that so I can uh, drill a hole in it, and that hole's going to be wide enough to allow a, an all thread to pass through. I'll cut it off somewhere in here uh, for the top of that lamp and then I've got some lamp parts that we picked up I took a lamp apart that we bought from the uh, thrift store so I got a few there's my uh, pull chain socket electrical cord and the little nuts and washers and stuff that I will need uh, I think about two years ago I uh, took that piece of wood and a, uh, another thrift store find. It was one of these, uh, it's a rubber trout. Looks real, real enough for me anyway. And what I did, I uh, drilled a hole in its stomach and put a dowel rod in it and drilled that out. And then I just made myself a little display for, and it was underneath my uh, coffee table for a while, but. I decided to turn this into a lamp, so this was kind of kind of crooked and uh, messed up. <clears throat> so I, excuse me, I flattened it off with the uh, grinder, drilled a hole in it. So that's where the uh, I'll have to come up with some sort of a little spacer, but that's going to sit down in there like so. And I'm going to have another uh, lamp to replace the one that I sold the other day. The uh, fly rod uh, belonged to my uncle. And I still have the case for it and all that other stuff, but yeah, I'm not a fly fisherman. And uh, yeah, it's a family heirloom, so I'm just going to 
make a lamp out of it and and uh it had to take a pretty uh hefty offer for me to turn loose of it once it's done but uh uh you know one lesson I learned from a fella a couple of years ago was that if you can take something that you've uh, put your time into and you can uh, fold it in half and put it in your front pocket, you've accomplished something. So everything's for sale, I guess, in a nutshell. Anyhow, I'm going to get this thing started, and uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the GoPro and uh, just kind of film this as I'm going along. Hopefully it won't be too uh, drawn out and boring. But it'll, you know, kind of give some folks an idea of how to put one of these together if they want to do one for themselves or, or uh, you know, just whatever. So anyway, I'm going to get started and uh, switch the cameras and we'll get back in here in a few minutes. Well, good afternoon again. I've switched back from the GoPro to this. I had a small meltdown. Uh, not knowing anything about these old uh, bamboo fishing poles, I'm fixing to show you uh, what I ran into. It uh, let's just say it didn't work according to plan, so I had to come up with a uh, plan B. And I was fortunate enough to be able to use the business end of that uh, old uh, fly rod, so it's not a total loss. But yeah, you know, you just. You learn as you go sometimes, and this is one of those learning experiences where, you know, if you don't take that chance, you you're not gonna you're not gonna know anything. And so, without further ado, I'll uh, show you what's going on. Give me just a second and get this camera spun. All right, this is what I ran into. That bamboo is not hollow. And it, uh, when I tried to run a drill bit through it to maybe test, test to see if it was hollow or not, it split. Here's the business end. I was able to uh, get the cork hollowed out. And yeah, that reaches a point where it's actually solid and then goes into this piece here. And as I was drilling this out, that came off of it. And so what I ended up doing, I went to Walmart and got this uh, fishing pole here. It's one of them, uh, it's like a cane pole. And you just kind of sling it out there a little bit and reach out there and do all that crappie fishing. Anyhow, I'm going to cut the center section out of it and... Uh, put it in there and, and actually literally build my own fishing pole just for the sole purpose of uh, putting this lamp together. I've got uh, one of them old, uh, this is a Shakespeare. I don't know if you can see all that now. You can't, you know, too much reflection coming in. It's a Shakespeare OK automatic number, looks like 1821. I'm going to use that for the the fishing reel on it to give it that old look. There's the, again, there's the the trout and the piece of driftwood that I uh, clear coated a while back. And then I'm going to add that spacer down to hollow log. There's the rest of it over there on the saw. But uh, that's what I'm fixing to do. And, and uh, hopefully this craziness will uh, correct itself. But it just, I just had to kind of walk away from it uh, for a little bit and collect my thoughts and then uh, things just started coming together and then uh, normally that's that's how I'll uh, solve something just kind of give it a minute and the uh, solution presents itself of course it uh, helps when God whispers in your ear do it this way son anyhow I'm gonna get started again get the GoPro fired up and maybe we'll have a decent video See you shortly. All right, here's the next step we're going to do. I got all that kind of set up. What I'm fixing to do now is run a uh, all thread through those pieces and get it tightened together. And then I'm going to get my grinder out 
and I am going to literally grind off the excess and hope I don't take too much off because there's not much to work with there and uh, kind of blend that in a little bit and that'll give me the elevation I need to clear the uh, top of that fish so without further ado again again I'm gonna shut the camera off get it all bolted together and uh, get this uh, get this ground together or whatever anyway you guys know what I'm doing see you in a few minutes All right, I've got that all blended together with that uh, angle grinder. I have to go over it now with a, uh, I'll hit it with some 220 and kind of knock that uh, edge off of it. And then I'll be ready to uh, switch all threads and go with the longer one and, and assemble the uh, fishing rod. But there we go. We're getting closer. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's starting to work out. I had to do a little adjusting on that hole so that uh, I could get that uh, all thread a little straighter up and down. But we're almost done. Get the clear coat after it as soon as I get it all put together. And uh, get this done up. And try to blend it in as best I can. Anyhow, that's where we're at now. I'm going to shut this down for a minute go back into the garage and uh, pick up where we left off see you in a few all right i've got that old fishing reel on there just trying to get an idea of how that's going to look i'm going to have to cut some of that all thread down and shorten that rod so basically most of what you're going to see is the actual fishing rod uh, cork itself and a little bit of black and that's a shame I wonder if I could cut that off and use it probably not that's my pattern for future uh, that's for future reference anyway I've got a few more things to do um, before I can get that cord run so I want to get back at it this time I think I might be able I say start the GoPro but this this uh, this has been one of those uh, projects where uh, it, it'll thump you in a heartbeat and that's why I've, and, and when you start doing too many starts and stops and, and it just gets to a point where uh, I don't like doing my videos that way but uh, anyhow I'm gonna get back after it and I'll bring you back as soon as I get some more progress made All right, folks, we're getting there. There's that little piece of fishing rod I used. That way I can say, yeah, that's a fishing rod. There's the heart. I just got to put the socket on and run the line. And then uh, when I do that, I'll take the uh, fishing reel back off of it so I can clear coat this right here and try to try to continue to uh, blend it in with the rest of that uh, driftwood. And uh, this little lamp will be ready to use so excited anyway uh let me get that done i'll bring you back and let you have a peek at it see you in a few
Well, good morning, everyone. Monday morning. It's a government holiday, so I'm here messing with this lamp. I just finished it up. And uh, there's the uh, driftwood. There's the trout. There's that 1950 Shakespeare automatic trout reel. I've got to uh, trim up the chain and that piece of string. And then I even made the little finale to go on top of it. So, and again, forgive me for not keeping the GoPro on it. Every time I uh, turn that GoPro on, I run into a catastrophe. This is completely, completely different than uh, how I started off. The bamboo rod didn't work out. So I literally, from parts of that bamboo rod, which is the, uh, that business end that you see right there, I uh, went to Walmart and bought a, uh, that black uh, fishing pole and cut it up and made my own fly rod. So there it is in a nutshell. And then of course, back to the string. Now that automatic fishing reel keeps tension on that line, so it's always gonna be tight. So it won't entice the cat to come over there and grab it. But anyhow, there it is. Fly rod fishing lamp number two. This one here I'll hang on to. And uh, I'll go back with that original design that I had if I decide to go and make some more. But I borrowed that uh, I borrowed that lamp shade, and I think that's the perfect shade for it, being that oval. I've got another round one that I thought I could try out, but uh, there's no need to do that now because of the shape of the base and that uh, lamp shade. It's perfect. All right, guys, there it is. Fly Rod Lamp number two. You guys uh, have a great week. Uh, please like it, uh, share this video if you like it, and do, do, do subscribe. The more the merrier. Thank you, folks. Y'all have a great week. Bye.